is recovering from a great war. A war that lasted for more than a hundred years. Many kingdoms came and went during that time. But the kingdom of Griffith was the one that uh, prevailed. They beat uh, the last resistance in a citadel called the Citadel, corny as it might be, on the plains of Thay, far to the, uh, the east of where we currently are. And it has been 10 years since that battle has been fought. The land is healing, towns are starting to prosper. But unfortunately, the Griffith dynasty does not take kindly to the new parts of their empire and they rule with an iron fist. Slavery is common, people are not equal. And because of these reasons, there are vast amounts of animosity towards the, uh, the ruling caste. And you are currently in Candlekeep, which is... Uh, hold on, I have to move you guys over there. You are arriving into, into the town, and the, uh, the king's men are looking for something. You hear the, uh, the town children recruiting you, essentially. They're being paid. But what they say, you'll find out soon. Okay, that's where we start. You guys are here. You have to be actually put on the map. Draggers, I can't see. Oh, wait, we haven't. You, you are not on the yeah, map. We, we don't exist yet. That's you why are, I can't you see you it. Because you are arriving at different times. I'm uh -huh. going to say that all, all of you are going to roll a d100, and the one who rolls the lowest arrives first. Yeah, we have double numbers. So far. Uh. Oh. Yay! 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Mor Morskan and uh, Saro, you arrive at the same time. You crash into each other, trying to get well, into the gate. <laughs> um. Where are we, am I arriving from? North, south, uh, east, west. That's entirely up to you where your character is coming from, but the the main trade routes are coming from the east. So if you're coming from the road, you will be arriving from there. If you're coming from the sea, you'll be arriving from the west. Um, I'm actually going to say I'm going to arrive from the west. All right. Um, am I supposed to be that small? Actually, that's probably about right. Yeah. The, um, uh, right. Yeah, I'm going to be west as well, but... Oh, you've you got... Yeah, you got snap movement on. Okay, I can change that. Hold on. It's just no, a tick box a somewhere. Thing. Yeah, turn off grid. It also makes the map look nice. Go. Less grid lines. Yay. I think you should drag us in first before turning off the grid. But that'd be huge now. Maybe, I don't know. Can you move oh. now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all I can move before. It was just, you know, snap movement. I can only move. Okay, so you arrive into, into the town, and the town is pretty lively. There's a lot of people moving around, and it's a, it's a brisk summer day. It's about 10 a.m. currently when, when you get to the town. What do you want to do? Uh, 10 in the morning? Um, is Laddie here too? Or I don't suppose I see him. Oh, well, I don't see him. I'm going to... What do I see in front of me? Yeah. Right in front of you is the, the main square of the town that has the, uh, the temple grounds on it. And there's um, three statues of deities and a small fountain. There's also a, a, like a gardener on the other side next to the, uh, uh, the temple itself. And you, you can hear like uh, children playing on the streets. And I'm assuming um, that they do you stand there, there still or something? I'm gonna. Uh, I suppose uh, I'm gonna stand here and think about what to do next. Uh, describe your character to me. Um, in what way? Physically? Because I don't want to give away backstory. Yeah, well, what, what, yeah, of course not. What What does he look like? Oh, he's um, about 
slightly below average height, um, dark hair, um, pretty thin, really build, um, so he's not very really heavy, uh, and he's a tiefling. Okay. So all that goes with that, so you know the horns, tail, and he's he's wearing a uh, sort of leather armor. Okay. I'm I'm asking this because um, that does your character look like he's an adventurer? Like, he, would you say that? Uh, well, I suppose he's wearing leather armor, so yeah, I suppose he does look like an adventurer. Well, I mean, uh, at that point, I would assume that one of the children just runs up to you. Hey, mister! Uh, I ignore him. Hey, mister, the king's men! They're looking for... for guards! Are you a fighter? They pay. Yes, they pay good. You should go to the, uh, the tavern. They also pay me if you go there and sign up. Where's the tavern? The child points to to his right. At the end of the town, the last building on the left. I um <clears throat> nod and walk off. And uh, so. the child goes back to playing with his friend. The door is open if you want to go in. What do I see? You see a bunch of legionaries eating their breakfast. And you see... Um, actually, I, I can show you. You see... You see this guy. Right, let me zoom out. Oh, there. I see. Mm-hmm. He, he looks at you. Are you here for the guard duty? What does it pay? I need to. I haven't thought of a voice for this guy. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll just carry on with that. I wasn't expecting to play today. It's five gold a day. It's gonna be a long journey. You'll get food. You'll also get the ride in the carriage. We're going to the capital. Uh, that's that's enormous pay for this kind of work. Yeah, hmm. Five gold seems generous. What's the uh, what's the rush? The risk? No one else want to do this? There have been trouble on the road. Last caravan didn't make it. Everyone was killed. So now we have doubled up the uh, the soldiers, and also we're recruiting some some extra hands, so so that we can be surely. Uh, getting the cargo where it needs to be. Are you up for the job? Hmm. For five gods a day to the capital? Well, I was headed that way anyway, so sure. Sign me up. Alright, and your name is? Uh, I'll go sour. He lo- sort of looks at you. Um, I have to ask you... Uh, because this is uh, the kind of a world where slavery is common can this character determine anything out of you? Um, what do you mean? is he looking to see if I'm a slave? he's looking to size you up like what kind of a fighter you are insight versus charisma um, yeah I mean I suppose I want to deceptions try and look like a stronger fight than I am. Yeah, or are you disguised? You said you said that you were wearing leather armor, but yeah. you didn't say anything else about your character, uh, as in in terms of clothing. Well, I mean, I've also got a, a quarter staff and some daggers. Although I don't think he could see the daggers. Okay. Um, and obviously a backpack with a load of stuff on it, rope and water skins and the rest. Yeah, so you, you look like an armed traveler at least. Yeah. All right. I'm going to say we're going to roll. He's going to look at you. He's going to roll perception, and we're going to see what happens if he 
What do you want me to roll? See, see, see is anything again. I don't think you can roll against this. I mean, you, no. you can. Is, is there something for disguising? Um, you can roll deception on the back row. Well, depending on if it's speech or is it like he's checking you out. He's looking at the at um, sorrow. Uh, I'm not sure. If he's trying to assess his character, he should be rolling insight. I think, shouldn't he? Insight right. was charisma. Yeah, charisma, charisma save kind of thing, yeah. I guess. Or a performance as well, if you want to. Kind of perform differently, or look differently. Alright. I believe it's either a performance or a charisma check. Oh, you want me to do a, a check? Yeah, so if, if you can beat, 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 beat him with performance or something, it's okay. Right. Oh, yes. You, you beat him. <laughs> Alright, he looks at you, he smiles. Alright, welcome aboard. My name is Chauncey Grava. I am the captain of this uh, sorry bunch of people here. And then over there is Alvin. Yeah, and he's also his friend is going to be joining us. And then you see another guy. I'm going to reveal Alvin. He looks like this. He's one of the guys in the blue Hello. robes. <coughs> Bob, I remember and, I saw one. And tomorrow morning we're gonna leave. Be ready at 9 a.m. Um, right. A nod and head to the bar, I suppose. Actually, no, I won't head to the bar straight away. I'll head to a, a corner of the inn. Alright. My back against the wall, that sort of thing. That is it for you, I guess. This would be where yep. the next players arrive. So the sec second one was um, Morska. If if you want to arrive at the same time with uh, Willow's characters, that's fine. Yeah, it's sensible. Yes, you can do it. Yeah, I thought I was going to be arriving with uh, Laddie, but he chickened out. Well, I <laughs> there were reasons. Reasons. Um. Yeah, we'll be coming in from the west as well. I think. All right, drag your characters there. And... You see the same thing as he saw. The, the town is lively. There are Characters people wa way. walking back, back and front. Uh, you have to drag it in. You have to From where? From your from your journal. Journal. Yeah. yeah. I, I can do it for you also. I ain't got it there. There you go. Now you're both there. You didn't put it in the journal. Oh, I haven't. No. Really? How do you modify them? It it says uh, yeah. How how can you modify a character if it's not in your journal? Because it says Morskan, Kimbal, Laddie, and You just and grab both. your name of your character, so Morskan, and then just drag it, and boom, there he is. Well, you're both there anyway, you should be able to control your your characters. Nope. Oh, have you not given him control of it? I mean, when I click edit, edit, it says in player's journal, Laddie, can be edited and controlled by Laddie. Morse can came battle the thing. No, we can't. Track there. You can't. What the I fuck? don't reconnect. Relog. This is why we have session zeros. This is why we have session zeros. This is why we are zeros. What? 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 Exactly. What? Cookies. Eating sushi. You have sushi? Yeah. I don't. Well, I do. Well, too bad for you. Nope. You you have nothing in your journal. The hell is that? Is your character under token or under avatar? First. Oh, yeah, yeah. Secondly, token. secondly um, 
shady when you go to edit try and remove his name and re-add his new name could be could be that he changed his name might fuck it up yeah so remove the old one and put the new one in then save it and then he should be able to see it after like a so what do you want me to to delete the name and then have no, 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 go, go to his character click on edit and yeah. under in, in players drummer and controlled by just delete uh, close his name like put a little axe on his name oh, okay. and then re-add the new name that should uh, put it back in his journal. All right, does it work now? Can you see it in your journal, first thing, sir? I can see my character, but I can't see the character thing, my token. The token. Okay, uh, you need to put a token under avatar, not under token. That's a shady thing. It is default token is there like he has an avatar also but there's a default token is different yeah but the to the token is the one is he controls so you need to put the token under avatar the avatar the picture of his of his character um okay well then I'm, I'm just gonna remove the picture now because uh you're the only yep. one who actually has it but but it's like somewhere else already yeah. okay the default token can have some problems with controlling characters during different screens, which is why we're using avatar mostly as a token itself. At least so I found out. Does it work now? now you're gonna have to, to delete this character and drag the new one in from the from the from the actual map, and then drag the new one in. Then then they should be able to control it. Well, I mean, even he should be able to drag it in now, if yeah. it works. Can you control it now, uh, Laddie? Oh my god! I can yeah, do can. that one. Yeah, that, that's him. But okay, I can't... So you are also using the old one with the uh, actual sheet. Uh, well, that's the same problem. Great. Session zero, everyone! Welcome to Wait. figuring out roll 20. Yay! Can we just role play what we do? No, this is exactly why we're doing this because yep. this has to work tomorrow so that we don't spend two hours fucking around with all this shit. <laughs> yeah. Can okay. you can you can you do it now, Ulla? Also, Laddie, you can uh, modify your own avatar as well. No, it's it's there in the avatar. I can drag it out from the avatar, but yeah, it's it it's uh, not size appropriate. It's fine. The shady can size it. Well, there you go. Let, let, let me edit the damn thing. Then it'll, it'll be okay. Yeah. Also, a uh, lady might need to drag the new avatar in with the shield, the actual shield. Because this one is the wrong shield. I put the. Thing so down. it is. You can edit your own avatar. As for Wula, the same thing. Once you uh, give it a new name, you can delete her actual token on the map and drag the new one in. Refresh, please. Have interest, um, because I wasn't planning to play tonight. Is this just going to be literally doing the premise, essentially? Yeah, you're just meeting up here so that we don't have to do this tomorrow, so we actually get to play. Hey, you know how long meetups can be. Yeah, yeah I mean, emotional. if you really want to drag out the D&D session, just give the uh, each player the opportunity to act individually. Instantly lengthens your game by an hour. Yeah, mm. you, an hour? you know how emotional oh. we get and uh, how add add shopping and you know <laughs> that's the end of the game. <laughs> Shopping is and, like and a shopping session. and bickering and everything else. You know, half of the game goes there. I yeah, somebody, somebody wants to show something. <laughs> the bickering is the best. Like when you're stuck How in cells. How do I get her out? Uh, if you 
on your you drag journal. Drag a character. Yeah. Don't cl just click on your name. So when it highlights blue, then hold it, drag, and release. We should just drag yeah. the character there. Yeah, you can control it. Why the heck am I so big? <laughs> Don't complain. No, not anymore. <laughs> I should actually be smaller. <laughs> halfling. You are halfling? Yeah. Yeah. This this kid is big. This kid is even bigger. Oh that's, my god. That's, that's not a kid. That's a man. Oh, that's, that's a man. Yeah, this this character here is I, a man. I, I, so I get kid. the um. The These are children. <laughs> correct shield one across. Yeah, so Shady must do that. Must do that. The correct shield one. Well, for some reason, mine is always resizing. Yeah, uh, some some tokens are generally high quality, so they come in bigger. I'm gonna stop. That's the correct shield. Yep. All right. I think that's a. L is that a little too big? I'll just hide here in the meantime. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Uh, RM. So you arrive in the town. You see pretty much the same thing that uh, Sorrow saw before you. There's a lively town. There's a bunch of children playing on the streets. There are some people uh, trading. Someone's doing gardening. What do you do? Um. I, uh, I motion for Mary to follow me and keeping my uh, hand on my hilt. I slowly make my way down the street, uh, checking the corners, being cautious. Mm -hmm. See anything of interest? No. Uh, depending on your character, I guess. Do you pray a lot? Are you, is your character religious? In a certain respect. Well, I mean, you you would recognize if it was important for you. So around here, I guess there would be a notice board with uh, a lot of text, mainly just for recruitment for the uh, the campaign. I'm assuming that uh, your character might be looking for a work. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a wander and have a read. So it reads as follows. The king's men are looking for able-bodied adventurers to protect the caravan that's going to the capital city. If you're interested, go to the uh, the tavern and like there's like, some simple directions. But it's the same building that the um, yep. Sorrow is in right now. I, uh, I turn my head uh, towards Murray. Capital A. Perfect. And uh, continue down the street. Very follows. Towards the uh, the the tavern. Uh, step in. Yeah, the door doors are not locked. Here, they're expecting to get uh, recruits. Um, I take a quick glance around the tavern. Any threats of any sort? Well, I mean, the, the, the tavern is full of heavily armed legionaries, and right in front of you is Captain Chauncey. Of the, uh, of the dynasty, yeah? Yes. I eye them extremely warily. Chauncey sees you walking. Welcome, welcome. We're looking for able-bodied soldiers. 
Would you be interested in taking part in the caravan? If it takes me to the capital, sure. Hey, that's our end destination. We're going there. Perfect. It will pay you five gold a day. You'll get uh, food, so you don't have to worry about that. And also you get to, to ride in one of the, uh, the carts, so you don't even have to walk. I, uh, I nod and uh, walk across to uh, one of the empty tables and just sort of stand surveying the entire room. Oh, you're spotted. interested, I assume. I nod. My name is Captain Chansey, what's yours? Moscow. Alright, I'll just put you put you here on the on the payroll so that um, we know who we're paying. And tomorrow nine AM we'll leave, so just be ready by then. Okay. And your name is Neil Ivanwood. Alright. We'll come aboard. Thank you, sir. And who's next? Sunny. That'll be me. All right. Do you, where do you want to arrive from? I'm all the way to the south. All right. Already there. So even approaching from a long distance away, you saw like the uh, the center of the town is essentially a huge temple, and you see pretty much the same thing everyone else saw. There's a bunch of cows on on the side of the uh, the temple. There's a gardener there. Children. The trees are blooming, the temperature is nice. I'm just walking the streets. Uh, your character is a human, right? My character is a half elf. Half elf? Half elf, yes. And okay, the, the, the... One description, this is a description of, of what he looks like. Short one. Oh, yeah, that's. Picture. Cool. That looks like the fantasy version of, you know, chewing on a toothpick and flicking a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> the the gardener probably turns around. Hey, are you the adventuring sort? Yes. I heard the king's men are looking for, for some guards. They're in the tavern right now. A couple of uh, dangerous looking folk already went there. I reckon you'd fit right in. And he, he sort of scowls at you <laughs> because he doesn't want people like you in his town. Well, I did come from a long way around. I could use a drink and a couple of rests. I will approach that. Alright. The gardener nods at you and keeps uh, tending to the, uh, the temple yards. I'll just uh, walk my way casually, smiling around. Yeah, uh, cavern. Okay. I walk in. And in front of you, there seems to be a, a tiefling. Oh, you're a tiefling, right? Such a character is a tiefling, yes. isn't it? Yeah. You Go see on. a thief, tiefling standing there in the middle of the of the room, and uh... oh, sorry, I was supposed to be. Here. <laughs> you can be whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to be fair, when, when I was describing what I was doing, I was on the other screen looking at portraits and couldn't control my character. And forgot mm -hmm. to oh. left it there. <laughs> it's it's alright, it's alright. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. It's alright. Uh, you, you open the door and uh, you see Captain Chansey in front of you. To your right side, if you're keeping um, an eye open, you see two heavily armored uh, personnel. And to your left, you see a man or a tiefling in leather armor. I'm staring right at him, by the way. Oh, well, my head's turned towards him. Okay. I, uh, I can look left, I can look right. I'm gonna shrug off and move towards the, uh, main guy in the center that seems to be watching me. I've heard you are, uh, looking for able body men. That's true, yes. We need uh, a couple of extra guards on the on the road to Baldur's Gate. 
There have been a lot of uh, problematic situations on the road. Are you looking to sign up? Well, I have two swords on my back and a couple of daggers ready for anything, and I need the coin. Which are you offering? Yeah, we are offering coin, food, and of course travel to the capital. You get five gold a day. You don't need to worry about rations. We'll, we'll handle that. And you also get to ride in one of the carts. So you don't even have to walk. Time me right in. Okay, what's your, what's your name? Tingwin. Okay, he signs uh, your name to a piece of paper. I don't know, he did this for everyone else also. Nice to meet you. He reaches his hand out. I just her back with a handshake. Okay. We'll come aboard. We leave tomorrow at 9 a.m. Very well. Just uh, go to this little lady here. I don't need to do the talking. Do you just rob her? <laughs> I, 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 just, I just smile at her and talk about the days and my long travels and trying to get a companion for the night. Um, roll... What would it be? Preservation, yeah. Performance. <laughs> No, or, no, no, performance comes afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Persuasion. Well, might as well. Oh, shit. You fail. <laughs> <laughs> she, She's a te like a peasant woman, but with a seven, you don't get her. Unfortunately. Oh. Come on, lady. Oh, well. I just, I just sit down. Like with a crit film, he would have gotten slapped, but not not with seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, acrobatics saved me. <laughs> okay, that's it for you now. And then yeah. the last last person arrives in town. They would be our bard. Yes. Well, I arrive from the west, strolling around the sidewalk with my loot in my hand trying to jam a little tune so okay. if you want to put on some uh, rocky uh, loot music rocky. yes sir. okay I'll, I'll see if I can find some <laughs> okay sounds like you're going to need to have rocky loot music prepared for session one yes <laughs> I lost sound for a second there. You heard. Is it playing? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Strolling along. Is there anything happening while I walk from the west side? Towards I mean, the, the center the, of town, admiring the, the statues, the, the fountain. start to follow you. That's what happens. Hey, mister! I stop. Where did you learn to play? Oh, the old ass of the loot. Carried along from the great Callius Gasfrave of Daggerford. My partner in crime. They gasp. <gasps> crime! And the crime of music! <gasps> of untraditional songs and chanted. They like totally dumbstruck by your ability to play a musical instrument. Hasn't happened in this village in a long time. Play my instrument. The lute that he's playing. Yes, I'm playing a lute. Hmm. I just continue playing, just jamming on the loot. Alright, this probably is 
This older man comes along. Bugger of you, kids. Hey, man's hey. got business. Huh? What? Let them hear. I believe they mm. don't have heard the great sounds of Jacker's Blackfoot. Extraordinary bars of Daggerford. Mm hmm. Have you not heard of me? No. Shame. I need to do more concerts there. Tell me, where's the great nearest inn with the stage? He looks at you for a while. There are no stages here. There's a big table at the inn at the end of the road, and he points, points to his left. A table can be a f fabulous stage. Show me the way. He looks at you. It's over there. Three buildings. Last building on the left. I ain't gonna show you nothing. But yeah, be as you well. may. I will head well, on well, and spread well, the of, word. Hold on, one of the children is like, Hey, I'll show you, mister! And they, they lead you there. From this table of a stage, I will spread the word of the rock. So you arrive with children. <laughs> okay. As I approach the, uh, the door, I try to slam it open. It opened both ways inside. It's, um, 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 do I need to make, do a strength check for that? Yeah, make, make, <laughs> make, a, a, make, make a check to, to see to see how awesome it looks. If it's um, good or bad. It's pretty epic. The door slam on both sides, and you sort of your shadow like is cast into the uh, inside the building from the morning morning sun. As you walk in, you see my sword is halfway out of my hilt. Fair not. Fabled warriors and uh, epic drinkers. For I, Jacques Blackfoot, has come to spread the word of the rock. The children are like, Yay! Now, where is my stage? I'll take a peek around. What do I see? On your right side, you see two heavily armored knights. On the left, there's, um, there's a man in leather armor or tiefling. In, in front of you, there's a large table that's surrounded by legionaries that are finishing up their breakfast. And right in front I just of me, ignore the uh, ones on my side and go straight for the one in front of me and say, You, sir, you look like a man in charge. Is there a stage in this establishment? There are no stages here, but there are tables. Oh, a table can be a fabulous stage for a man like me. And you see, well, I'm really short, so I need a Hold stage. On. Hold on. He sort of turns around. Hey, you lousy lot. You've heard, heard your breakfast. You've ate, eaten it now. Lift this table on top of that one. This man wants a stage. And they sort of move this table on top of that one. And now you have a priest sage. Because of your impressive performance entering the building there. He has arranged you. All right, I <laughs> jump up. Get ready to loot. And I should have the song for this, but that's... Do you want me to play the same song again or what? No. That is too... Slow. <laughs> because I have the text and you can see it in my bio. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to sing that with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, let's do it, sure. Well, uh, do I need I to do a to performance check off. for this? <laughs> yes, you need to do it. Oh, yeah. That's right. Hold on, I need, I need oh, to Oh, the dragon's balls were blazing, and I stepped into this cave when I sliced this fucking cockles with a long and shiny blade. Was ooh, I who fucked the dragon, fuck a lysing, fuck a loo. And if you try to fuck with me, then I shall fuck you too. And I just keep on jamming. Hey, you hear a pretty epic song about uh, fucking dragons and all sorts of rocks and epic uh, adventures and rebellion. And it's, I'd clap, it's but it'd be out of character. 
<laughs> great, great uh, form of entertainment, especially with that role that he made. I will, I will nod the uh, the guy next to me on my elbow and uh, say, "Is it always like this in this land?" Sometimes, but a little entertainment never hurt nobody. No, I ain't saying it's bad. It's just that I'm not used to this. Oh, I, I believe there'll be a lot more murdering, a lot less singing when we get on, on the caravan. I see. Well, I hope it's demons and dragons we will be slaying. I have experience, you know. I will just slow clap. Uh, as soon as the song ends, I mean, the, the legionaries are enjoying the entertainment, so they also clap. So you you get a you get a pretty good reception. Thank here. you, thank you. Remember the name Jackass Blackfoot, the greatest man of rock. And I jump down from the table. Now and the legionaries re reconstruct the, uh, <laughs> the interior. Well, hello, Jacques. Hello, sir. I just hand out my tiny hand towards him. He grips it firmly and squeezes. It might be a little bit painful even for you. He's a powerful uh, soldier with a lot of experience. Do an we need to do a contest of strength check on that? <laughs> uh, he's an... Oh, sure. We can, we can roll strength. To see if... Uh... Who? <laughs> Advantage. <laughs> I did. Well, it is the first roll. Remember that. Ah, oh, strong grip. Yeah, you start. You start to feel a, a little pain in your hand, but not much because it's only four difference. You take ten damage. What plus six? God damn it! Yeah, he's a strong dude, man. <laughs> well, it's a saving throw, though. So. I thought it was a skill strength check, but oh, what? I rolled the wrong thing. But it's then it's uh, it's still plus, plus 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 three, fifteen. He beats you by one. Yeah. The so, name's Ca Captain Chelsea, and we're looking for for guards for a caravan. Jackvis Blackfoot, bringer of rock and slayer of demons and dragons, as you may have heard. He sort of looks at you. Well. If you want to, you can join us. There will be trouble, most likely, on the road. The last caravan didn't make it. Ooh, trouble. I like trouble. Sign your name here. Right, I sign with n uh, without consent. Okay. We'll come aboard, we leave tomorrow at 9am, you get 5 gold a day. Food. And you also get to ride on one of the carriages. And these are your contacts. He, he sort of points around and points at uh, each of the uh, the people who signed up. There are five of you currently, and uh, I don't think we'll be accepting any more. Excellent, excellent. Well, I shall take a small break before my next show, if you would like to hear more. We'll be here all day. We're leaving tomorrow. Excellent. I know just scuttle off into the to, to the peasant school and take a look at her. My my, what is a lovely young lady like you doing in this establishment, full of soldiers? Uh, pro perception. Perception. Mm hmm. To look at her. No, to see what kind of a woman she is. Well, that... Uh. You think she is nobility. <laughs> she, she is finely dressed, smells nice, and is in a house full of men. <laughs> Why, I'm here just to entertain the soldiers. Entertain? Hmm. Well, a penny for your thoughts, then. Five gold and I'll be all yours all night. Dude, that's steep. I need to do many performances for that kind of gold. 
Tell me, so about your drink, and we can talk, reminiscence, and I'll tell you stories of the epic tales of me and Ja uh, Kylios Gassus of Daggerford. Okay, well, she, she's pretty impressed by her, by your um, performance there on the stage. So I'm gonna let you also roll performance, I mean, uh, persuasion with advantage. Alright! Uh, persuasion, yeah. Yeah. 17. Yeah, she's, she's totally gonna go with you. Alright, what, what does uh, two drinks cost? One silver. One silver each? No, total. Okay. So, I'm gonna pay up that. Bring the drink to her, and I reminiscence about my old tales with Kalios um, Gasfrave when I first entered as a young half halfling into Daggerford. She listens and is uh, very um, impressed by your stories. So yeah, then that's gonna be my evening. Anyone else? Yeah, do you guys want to interact at all? Because that's pretty much what uh, what I had planned for today, because now everything works. And you have uh, all signed on to the uh, to quest. Yes. Yes, what? Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, yes. No. <laughs> yes! Bring me another! <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, well, just observe the weird characters and just hold my tongue. I will just, I will uh, turn to Mr. Blackfoot. As he's right next to me, anyways, he's talking to, uh, to the whore that I tried to take. I didn't want to pay her. Um, yep. There's actually going to be one more roll, and then you guys can do whatever. Okay. Continue. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, there are no consequences. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. And uh, I'm going to turn to Mr. Blackfoot <laughs> and say, um, "Tell me, Mr. Blackfoot, it is." Yes, I know you. Who sung about uh, demons in you? Dragons. This song was dragons. I have songs about demons too, if you would like to hear. Ah, uh, I'll stories. pass on the song, and I'll pass on the stories. Um, what sort of demons were you talking about? Oh, this was a mighty demon we once faced. Me and Kalios Gas stood face to face with the one where we took, uh, took his tooth. The tooths, you see, enchanted in many ways, could play the most fabulous songs, and thrall the people of all lands. Uh, but summoning it, because we used it excessively, we summoned it, and a, uh, and a demon challenged us to a song of, a rock of, it was called. Right, so was that a Labrazu, Harazu, Merlif. I'm not sure. He talked excessively. Mm, I see. Played an epic tune, I say. Very well. Continue with your courting. So as I was saying, I just turned to the lady. <laughs> I keep drinking. For my own class, for my own bonus game. Mm hmm. We have a jolly good time. Yeah. Anyone else? No, I think I want to save everything for tomorrow. Okay. Well, that is where we will conclude today. And we will continue tomorrow with an actual session Yay. of D&D. Yay! Yep. Yay. Yay.